Hi guys, Miss Nikki back here with uh, Book Adventures Club. We're doing another little demo of our craft that you'll be able to pick up, I believe, the week of the 25th. Yeah, so super cute, super fun. I did start a little bit of the prep work because I'm sure you guys know how to cut a paper plate in half. So there you go, there's that. And then you want to take, and they say to basically cut like pizza shape. So just cut little triangles off on each side. And there's no real measurement, but see, it basically looks like your little tail if you look in the picture there. So yeah, this is the part that you'll want to like paint or take a marker to it or however you want to do it. So there's that. And then you've got your little spoons. These will be part of it, you'll see. You'll have a marble. You put that in there. And then it gets a little tricky because you've got to keep that marble in there and then you're going to want to rubber band it. So you're just going to take rubber band and just twist it around and around and not lose your marble. <laughs> It'll stay in there. Once you get it to totally rubber banded up, it will stay in there. So that'll be that. We'll do it one more time. Oop. Okay. It really will. And then you'll get like little googly eyes and I put some little orange like foamy sticker pieces they could create his little nose and everybody will get a little feather that they can tape on or whatever to the back. So with all that, you get the idea. There's those little pieces and you'll get really good directions. And then here's the one that I made a little while ago. See the marble? He stays in there. Let's see how he's got the, I just painted on the nose cause I didn't have orange stickers yet. And then, yeah, You'll rubber band both them and then just tape it. I just use regular tape like this. Any tape will work just fine. Woo! <laughs> I think he kind of did okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm here and we've got the, this is called Rags, Hero Dog of World War I. A true story, which it is, because see our little call number? Nonfiction. So it is written by Margaret raven and illustrated by petra brown so i'm just going to read the first kind of little blurb to give you an idea of what's happening okay so rags hero dog of world war one war dogs of world war one the first world war began on july 28 1914 and ended on november 11 1918 battles took place in more than eight different areas of the world and on three continents of all the major fighting armies, only the United States did not formally make dogs a part of its World War I military ranks. But Germany with 30,000 dogs, France and England with 20,000, and other countries trained Canine Corps to be sentry, messenger, and ambulance dogs. There was another kind of historic canine soldier called the mascot dog. These unlikely soldier dogs were strays who usually attached themselves to a person or combat unit and end up going to war beside the humans they adopted. Although not initially militarily trained, these dogs were gratefully utilized by U.S. forces in World War I. They bravely risked their lives and lifted the spirits of battle-weary troops. Their story is an old one. It began when a dog first befriended man, and man was the better for it. Oh, that sounds really like it's going to be really good about this little puppy called Rags. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit and hopefully you can come in and check this out. See ya. Thanks.